Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Yogesh, IVF Consultant, Kushi Fertility and IVF Center, Bangalore. Laparoscopy in Infertility Laparoscopy is a very important tool to find out problems in the uterus, ovaries, fallopian tubes and the pelvis when there is inability to conceive naturally over a span of more than two years. Usually, there could be problems in the fallopian tubes or the uterus that makes pregnancy difficult. When we do a laparoscopy, a panoramic view of the entire lower abdomen or the pelvis can be seen. The uterus, presence of fibroids, the fallopian tubes, any obvious inflammation or swelling of the fallopian tubes, presence of ovarian cysts, paraovarian cysts, fallopian tube cysts and even infections in the pelvis can be made out. When it is something called as endometriosis, endometriosis is a condition wherein the uterine lining grows in areas apart from the uterus. In such cases, there could be some endometriotic brown or red spots in the peritoneum around the uterus. It could be on the surface of the fallopian tubes and these can be made out only with laparoscopy. Therefore, laparoscopy is called as a gold standard for diagnosis of endometriosis, especially when it is in the earliest possible stages. Usually, when women have polycystic ovaries, they don't ovulate on their own. With ovulation induction drugs, most of them do ovulate, but there can be resistant polycystic ovaries who don't ovulate despite taking medications for ovulation. In such cases, if a laparoscopic electrosurgical ablation of the ovarian surface is done, which is called as LEOs, this reduces the ovarian stromal volume and also the stroma that produces the male hormones in normal women and encourages ovulation to happen either spontaneously or with the help of medications, which was not happening otherwise. In women who have conditions like endometriosis, sometimes there could be endometriotic cysts in the ovary. These cysts have to be totally removed in case the ovarian bulk is good, but in women who have reduced ovarian reserve, these cysts have to be only drained because if the ovarian cyst wall is attempted to be removed during such procedures where the ovarian reserve is less, ovarian tissue can also be peeled apart along with the cyst wall and the reserve can go down even further. Therefore, endometriotic cyst drainage or endometriotic cystectomy or removal of the entire cyst wall are two different procedures which have to be considered as an individual priority with respect to the ovarian reserve. Apart from looking at the ovaries and the fallopian tubes, the uterus per se can also be inspected. This is something which is called as hysteroscopy and is done in the same sitting as a laparoscopy under the same general anesthesia. What happens in the hysteroscopy is that the telescope or the hysteroscope is introduced inside the uterine cavity we will be able to see if the lining of the uterus is healthy enough to carry a baby. We will also be able to see the openings of the fallopian tube in the uterine cavity. These are called as the tubal ostea. So these ostea sometimes can be blocked because of some adhesions. They could be membranous which can just open up with a flush of normal saline while doing the hysteroscopy. Sometimes there could be flimsy adhesions inside the uterus secondary to some infection which can be removed in the same setting and of course if there are fibroids, polyps, extra growths in the uterus they can be removed in the same setting. Therefore, hysteroscopy is a very important tool especially before doing an IVF to be very sure that the cavity is all normal to carry a pregnancy. In the laparoscopy, Sometimes, if there are blocked fallopian tubes, they can be opened up in the same sitting with the help of something what we call as hysteroscopic tubal cannulation. Usually, flimsy adhesions in the fallopian tubes can be opened up with this procedure and therefore, the chances for pregnancy increase post the laparoscopic procedure. Therefore, laparoscopy is both a diagnostic and a therapeutic procedure and should be considered in women who are unable to conceive despite two years of trying naturally and when everything else seems to be normal.